I'm not going to use the word cinematic. No, no. We ran out of words to describe new tool. I'm not going to use the word game changer and put it in my title so that people actually click on my videos. No. Like many of you, I'm just passionate about creating images. All I'm interested in is what these tools can do for me. Now I go on YouTube or Vimeo to grab some images, footage, to see what you guys have actually achieved with this or that tool. So now let's do the same with the Laua Proteus anamorphic lenses. series the most accessible professional anamorphic lenses for super 35 sensors with a two times constant squeeze ratio these are not my words but that was enough for me to get me excited hoping to get my hands on them and test them like i said in my intro i saw some images here and there kind of liked what i saw and thought well the next step is obvious i got to get my hands on them this series comes in eight focal lengths, 20, 28, 35, 45, 60, 85, 100, and 135. They feature a universal T2 aperture, delivering the classic anamorphic characteristics, including elliptical bokeh and signature flares with blue, amber, and silver options. Minimum focusing distance is 55 centimeters, delivered in PL mount, it has an interchangeable EF bayonet included in the package. A hard case is also included and I had the pleasure to work with the 45 and 85 millimeter lenses. And that's what I believe all you need to know. They are a bit massive, a bit heavy, but they seem built to last. I paired them with the Fujifilm X-H2S, and here is what you've been waiting for, the footage.
final edited videos are now available on my second YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to watch everything in 4K, it is on my Vimeo profile. If you want everything in one place, in one single article, got to head to the blog. I haven't seen these anamorphic lenses available here in my area for rent. And I really hope they will be available because I believe they are a great option for any indie filmmaker out there who wishes to have the anamorphic look on one of their future projects. I do love the overall feel and look of these lenses, even if the size and weight do not suit my run and gun style. But I can really, really see myself considering these if any big project comes and requires that anamorphic look. Seems like everybody around me is going anamorphic these days. Will you? Tell us in the comments below. December 21st, or maybe December 20th, I will take my end of the year Christmas break. But before that, I will be posting some stuff here on the YouTube channel, plus a few articles for, yes, for premium members. I'm a bit late on the blog, but things are coming. Plus, plus one last thing, I will post my last short dance film of the year this week so please stick around and i guess i will catch you in the next ones until then take care and have a good one